नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा Tonight we start with Japan. It is under attack. First the Chinese state called it selfish, then the Chinese media went after Tokyo and now Chinese trolls have gone wild both online and offline. People in Japan are getting threatening phone calls. Japanese citizens and school children in China are being targeted. All this over the Fukushima water release. We'll show you some videos and pictures that tell you the full story. Meanwhile in Taiwan, Foxconn's founder wants to run for president. Does he stand a chance? What's his view on China? We'll discuss. India has imposed more tax on rice exports. We'll decode the trend for you. In Niger, the French embassy is being besieged. The junta has asked the ambassador to leave. In France, they're spending millions of dollars to destroy wine. We'll tell you why. In the UK, Rishi Sunak is coming under fire for pursuing a trade deal with India. In Pakistan, more confusion over Nawaz Sharif's return. And Neeraj Chopra makes history again. We'll bring you his spectacular story. The headlines first. Syria's Aleppo airport closed after Israeli airstrike. Syria claims its runway has been damaged. In the month of March, Israeli attacks put the same airport out of service twice. These strikes in Syria primarily target Iran-backed forces and Lebanon's Hezbollah fighters. The US and China will set up a new working group to discuss trade tensions. The agreement was reached during the latest high-level trip by, to Beijing by US officials. This group will meet twice annually. The world's largest economy is looking to ease tensions with its strategic competitor. Trouble continues for Chinese property giant Evergrande. Its shares plunged by over 80% in Hong Kong. It was their first day of trading after a 17-month suspension. Evergrande was once China's largest real estate firm. It now has over $300 billion in liabilities. Japan postpones its lunar mission launch for the third time. The, mission, the Moon Sniper mission was called off just 30 minutes before launch. Tokyo blamed heavy winds for this. No new date has been set for the next attempt. This comes just days after India successfully completed its Moon mission. France will ban children from wearing the abaya in state-run schools. The abaya is a long, baggy garment worn by Muslim girls and women. In 2004, France banned headscarves in schools. Large crosses and Jewish kippahs are also prohibited in French public schools. The mother of Spanish football president is on hunger strike. She says it is to protest the, the inhuman treatment of Luis Rubiales. She has locked herself inside a church. FIFA has suspended Rubiales, but he has refused to resign over kissing a Spanish footballer on her lips. And Simone Biles wins a record eighth title at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships. With this, she has broken a 90-year-old record. The 26-year-old is now the oldest woman to ever win the championships. The seven-time Olympic medalist returned to competition less than a month ago after a two-year break. 